Not have come here. God bless you. Bless you. You should not have come here.
You are either very brave or very foolish, setting foot back here. Nefertari, isn't it? I got a thousand blessings along over you. Oh, bastard! Naked ear dead! That was Rujek's wife. Did you expect anything less? This way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them. I feel bad for her, but it had to be done. You look well, better than the last time I found you. Are you just better at killing now? Rujek was only the beginning. Yes, your hunt. The heron. Where are you taking me? To make amends with Anubis. Amends? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course. How could you? You left the moment you woke. You know all the natron for Egypt is collected here. We send it mostly to Memphis to cover the bodies of the dead. Look at me. No, you're unwell. Uh, I am all right. You just spat up your meal and you can barely stand straight. Just bring me some water. No, the water is dead. Natron has other uses, though. I could use it to disinfect a wound. Or wash the stains of blood off my hands, for example. It looks better, Neb. I will have one of my aides bring something for the pain. And my brother? Recovering. He needs rest. You do not need to remind me. Why are so many of your people ailing? Because Anubis is displeased. Ever since you left, the torches by his shrines have lost their flame. We are no longer protected. From what? The wrath of Anubis? Whatever it is, we have suffered grave injuries trying to reignite them. Some have even vanished. It has become clear that Anubis demands your appeal and yours alone. I'll ignite the torches and end this curse, or omen, or whatever it is. You would do well to, if you ever hope to appease Anubis and gain my pardon. Sophia, give some frankincense to the men at the pool, would you? I don't need to tell you to be careful. There are three shrines. One to the south, one atop the natural well, and one inside the bent pyramid. You know your way to that one.
One of the torches of Anubis should be here. This torch has fallen over. Where's the head? This fence is broken. Was there a struggle? fell or was pushed. The Fatari was not exaggerating. This one died trying to light the torch. There's the torch head. It must have fallen from the ledge when the torch was tipped over. to do now is light it. Gatekeeper of the Duat, I honor your name. Gatekeeper of the Duat, I honor your name. That was no simple task. There are other forces at work here.
then tomb of Sneferu. Someone has been here recently. It's blocked. There must be some way through. The tracks here are fresh. There must be another way inside the tomb. Something must be behind here. Should be clear now. This room 
This is where my quest began. Someone has taken great care of this chamber. My life was undone here. Yet now there's a shrine, a memorial where none should be. Could this be for Rutjek? None could care for that snake that began this twisted quest, could they? Charms of Anubis. Someone has put these here, but why? Gatekeeper of the Duat, I honor your name. That is the last torch. I should return to Nefertari. <laughs> I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. Someone has sealed this room. The smell of the blood I spilled still lingers here. A mummified heron. A resurrection. No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the Order. A mummified heron. A resurrection. No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the Order. Rudjek does not deserve a tomb. This is an insult. This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. for me, and an end for Rujek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rujek was dead. Rujek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rujek with his God's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rujek, if these candles are any indication. No matter what, I know Rujek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife, no matter what was done here. I will be judged one day, but I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart.
news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon, before you cannot return from what you have become. Have you come to see me about the rebels? We don't make the trips until sundown. Come see me then by the northern entrance. To see you, Namrut. Nefertari sent reinforcements, I see. His name is Bayek, a dear friend of Nefertari's. I've asked him to come along, and he graciously accepted. I suppose we all do. I hear you are in some trouble. I owe a favor to Nefertari. If it's as you say, follow me and stay close. We've got quite a journey ahead. The path to the mine was clear, but that doesn't mean it will be on the way back. We're ready for anything. You seem uneasy, Namrud. Why the hesitance? I don't like straying from the plan. These lands are teeming with dangers. Bandits, soldiers, the wild. It's why we make the trips at night. Helps avoid trouble. Where are you camped? In an abandoned fort to the west. Our point of retreat. Retreat from what? An attack on a nearby encampment. There were more soldiers than we thought. Lost a lot of good men. How many wounded? 
Enough. That's why being close to their mine is so important. The healers work wonders. We are lucky Nefertari allows these deals. She has a pure heart. Risks her neck. The mine belongs to the regime, after all. We should be out of harm's way once we cross that bridge. This is it. When we get inside, I will need your help to tend to the wounded while Sufia prepares the natron. I pray we have not lost more men. I will set up. Bayek, follow Namrut. He will show you what to do. These men, move them to the rear by the kilns. Cold. This I way, so we will cold. line them up. It will be easier for Sufia. Your band is much smaller than I imagined. Small, but united. We fight for one another. I am merely one of them, spared by the gods this time. Their wounds are severe, but they'll live if Sufia is anything like Nefertari. You and Nefertari are old friends. Something like that. She saved my life after I killed Rujek. You are the one that killed Rujek, huh? I cannot believe it. By the gods, the brazier, the fire will alert the regime. They have found us. Rebels, move in! Leave none alive! Archers, ready your arrows! Kill the wounded last! It is useless to fight! You are outmatched! Take down your weapons, and we will make it quick! I would rather take the sword in your throat. Those who oppose Ptolemy's reign die! Sufia, she lit the brazier. Why would she draw the soldiers to us? I will go check on the other. No! Stay away from me! Talk! The omens! It was you! Why? You check? I loved him! He promised me a better life. You took him from me! Now I see. You're Rujek's mistress. Well, your fucking lover killed my son! I feel nothing for you! You are meant to die! Ah! What a shame. Such a pretty girl. There's no room for pretty in our war. Death drives us to do things we regret. She tricked us both. Your men? The pile of dead gets bigger. We will treat the survivors. No time to fetch another healer.
Must you follow me around everywhere? Strict orders from the General. We are not to leave your side. He's overreacting. I am safe here. The Raptors won't take any chance. Describe himself. Drunk. Dead to the world. <laughs> it won't be long before he comes to. I need to bring him back to Theodorus.
That is him. Well done. We will find out what he knows. In the meantime, we must prepare our attack. Some of our brothers are stationed just west of Soknopayu. Meet with them and wait for my arrival. We will put an end to that Nekatir debt. A scribe who knows his way around Karanis. Oh, Veratos, where is it? That name means nothing to me. Don't think us fools, please. Stop. Then talk. We'll break your fingers. No. Then your wrists. No, wrist. don't. Where is Deratos? Talk! I can't. I can't! I can't! said there have been other murders. <laughs> the cultists are murdering temple acolytes, public figures in Karanis. No one knows why. Anyone could be their next target. The Greeks are terrified. They're saying locals are involved and are calling for blood. This is a lot of blood. Someone was bound and tortured here in front of the statue. The signs. They were cut up badly, then dragged outside. It must have been the poor acolyte. There was no one else here. Why did they do this? The timing is inconvenient. Years of work building over the poorly constructed the god Egyptian, an Egyptian temple. god once stood. Endless delays and this would problems. Make some in Egypt now very this... angry. Someone has smeared the god with There is a lot of pressure to solve this. The has also been covered. But please, take your time. Wait. Enjoy the temple. Something else is up there. <coughs> Serapis' face is hidden and defaced with more green paint. The green mask of Wajet has been placed here. Wajet is goddess protector of Upper and Lower Egypt. Someone is making a clear statement. But how did they get up here carrying all of this? <laughs> Amun. This is written in blood. It is still wet. Murderers are going to kill the high priest next. We have to find him. The Falakitai should know where he is. The timing is inconvenient. <laughs> Years of work building over the poorly constructed Egyptian temple. Falakitai, 
I found the cultist message. They're going to kill your high priest next. The high priest? By Serapis, no. Karani's spirit will die if he does. We need to find him. Where is he? Think, Velakatai! His villa is nearby. I know of a spot overlooking it from a safe distance. This way. We can see the whole area from the temple wall. Your temple is the reason for this trouble. It is a bitterness for the locals. <laughs> That's absurd. It has increased industry and trade. Everyone has benefited. Your dead acolyte and high priest may not agree. Huh? Gods. The trouble I'll get if the high priest lies dead. We must hurry. going to sacrifice me. You are safe now. And it is fortunate you are not at the temple. You would already be dead. Serapis, they would have butchered me. These Egyptians are prayerless demons and not men. It was an Egyptian who saved you, priest. Remember that when you pray and give thanks. We Medjai protect all, regardless of their class. I came as soon as the fighting began. I see I am too late. Thank you for your help, Magi. It certainly made my work here easier. You have interesting timing. What do you know of these bandits? The Egyptians unhappy with the Greeks here. Who knows what holes they crawl from? Seeing a Greek god in place of their own incensed them, no doubt. Understandably. You've not seen the last of such trouble, I think. The Ptolemies tend to divide us at times. Sadly, I agree. Greece has brought Egypt much wealth, yet some resist all progress. This depends on your idea of progress. Progress for Egypt or for Greece. Farewell, Felakitai. Next time you protect, remember my court. I saw you with the Falakitai of Karanese. Are you a protector? I am. Is there something wrong? Please, we need your help. Yesterday, my husband witnessed something frightening. Soldiers dragged a poor man beneath the temple. Then he heard screams. We're already hungry because there's no grain. Now I'm terrified the soldiers will take my husband. We don't know who we can trust. Not even the Falakitai. Let me talk to your husband. Where can I find him? He's a stone mason working near the temple. Please be careful. The soldiers mustn't see you talk to him.
The new Fayum promises peace and plenty. A new age of wealth under the guidance of Greek innovation. Prosperity for all. Trade activity has oh. increased tremendously, creating substantial economic Everyone! For Greek be, 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 be careful! The c curse of Wadget! Snakes! N n n n near the villa at n night! Fellow g g g g g Greeks, stay in your homes after the dark. We have lost our her, her money, and an Egyptian c c c c curse is upon us. Snakes from the Egyptian serpent c c c c goddess. I've seen them with my, 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 my own eyes. What curse? What are you talking about? G -g 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 Greeks and Egyptians have lost harmony with each other. The g -g gods are displeased because of it. I'm Nanefer, and I don't know if I'm g -g 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 Greek or Egyptian. I'm an orphan. Lost harmony? What do you mean? The Egyptian g -g goddess Wajed is sending snakes into g Greek quarters at night. Only g -g Greeks have been killed. We are out of b -b 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 balance. See for yourself. Just n n north of the villa. Okay. I will look into this curse. That was harder than it should have been. That. The gods are rumbling. It came from just north of here. Must have something to do with this curse. What happened here? I should ask around. Ah, I can smell the burnt flesh. This jar does not belong here. I think there is movement inside. Another foreigner cursed by Wajet. That is three this week. Those useless Greeks had it coming, if you ask me. But what do I know? I am just the lowly Egyptian caretaker who cleans up after the naked Yadit. Hey, be careful what you say. People have died. I need to look around. What you need to look at is the color of your skin, son. Harmony is what we need. Not more senseless judgment. Look, some of us have built a shrine in a cave under what is left of the great temple. Why don't you come and honor Wajet with us? Egyptians have to stick together. Maybe I will, after I look around.
jars are the same as the ones I saw in the Greek area. They are breeding the snakes here. Gods, I hate snakes. Ah, snakes again! Why did it have to be snakes? monster will flee Memphis. They are breeding the snakes here. Gods, I hate snakes. Trying to the serpent goddess Wadjet. By the sound of it, I will not have to find the caretaker after all. He has already found me. Next were yours. You start quick. Come on, man. you start this Ionian slave. Do you master like a good dream dog? This is what Ptolemy has done to Egypt. A land out of balance, full of hatred and strife. At least I can rescue the hostage. He's being held by the caretaker's men at Panuki. The caretaker is using the goddess to kill Greeks. Why such hatred? I would be sad. It is just as Nanifer warned through his stutter. Egypt has lost harmony.
the caretaker's handiwork. These unfortunate Greeks were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Caretaker's hideout must be up ahead. This area is off limits. Hey, what? Rotten flesh. What is going to happen to that stupid, stuttering creep inside? He's going to be sacrificed to watch it when the caretaker gets it. That sacrifice, the priest stopped that years ago. Our ancestors followed the true path before it was corrupted by false teaching. That's why what? I'll kill you! Can you stand? Thank Serapis you're here. I d d d don't think so. They b b beat me. Be still. I will carry you out. me because they thought I'm Greek. Wait, what happened to your stutter? I was scared when I first met you. It makes me stutter. By the gods, is nothing true. Well, you are alive, Nanifa. Be thankful. I'm alive, but Egypt is out of balance. You must know, Magi, the law is harmony between all peoples. May Serapis unite us all. That is the end of the caretaker's cult. Nanifa is right. Egypt is out of balance. That is the order of ancients doing.
Are you Theodorus's men? Yes. And who are you? He is the Siwan. I come on his behalf. He'll be joining us shortly with instructions. Good. The soldiers are reeling. But it won't be long before reinforcements arrive. Come. Theodorus! Ready your blades and check your arrows. Theratus will be back at the camp before sunrise. You're with me. But don't forget, he is mine. What is your stake in this? This is more about him than it is about your war. My father grew figs in the Fayum. The best. Theratos taxed him. An Egyptian has no choice but to pay. One season, the harvest was so poor that my father struggled to give his cut. Theratos figured him for a cheat. He took a bite of fruit to prove his point. He got a mouthful of worms. His men laughed, but Theratos was furious. I watched as my father was hanged from his own tree and picked at by every animal in the region. Theratos embodies the unjust. He is why I am who I am. I need you, Bayek. Tririm! The gods have brought us together for this! Justice will be served today! <laughs> For Egypt! For your father, Theodorus! Veratos dies today! Leave no one alive! Clear the camp! May the field of reeds elude you always. The 
Kratos has fallen. Finally, my father's car is at peace. Let's move. We have a long trek ahead.
God's love it.
sight here. I cannot wait to ring the neck. What? Has a vengeance now. I hope it quiets her heart. Forgive me. Decision get it. Had you ever seen the queen before? No. I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. 
Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Oh, this is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. <sighs> Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet. Good idea. We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Always remember how you helped me.
Yourselves, travel here. Here are vigilant. Running corpses. This is blasphemy. Who did this? Why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel. Even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. Another dead farmer whose family will now lose their land. They used to eat at the arms kitchen in the market. But soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. There are no signs of a plague on the body. Bowls are filthy. What have the villagers been eating? They must have the food store. <laughs> this food is rancid. It smells like shit. It is completely unfit for eating. 
this gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. Eat with thanksgiving. And trust in he who is pointed of teeth. The Lord of Waters may take our souls, but we will all rejoice. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. We need to clean this place up and get it running again. Don't worry. I won't let them close down this kitchen. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easy if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you are reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this! We could have worked this out! This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was the real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more burning.
Henut? Yes. Hotefres sent me. I am here to help. And I have your daughter's doll. Great. I was awaiting word from my man. Thank you. Come, eat and we can talk. I will name her Iset, and she will be the protector of all Fayum. Ever since Hotefles got a hold of that ledger, Fayum has been on edge. Soldiers with torches patrol every night, and this alms kitchen was practically razed to the ground. They have left Shadia and me alone at least. Hotefles has made sure of that. Where is the ledger now? I instructed our most loyal servant to hide it in our villa. They can search the place as many times as they want. They will never find it. Can you take me there? I have been summoned to the lighthouse for another of their routine investigations. Ah, that may not be safe. The Ptolemaic authorities seem to be working with the crocodile. It happens every few days. Don't worry. They wouldn't dare touch someone in an official position. Shadia. Show Bayek the way to our home. Come on, Uncle Bayek! You can see my house from that roof! Follow me! You are not afraid of heights, are you? <laughs> hey, lead on, little one. I will follow. <laughs> Where did you learn to climb like that? That looks like fun. <laughs> I come up here a lot. Everything looks so beautiful. The people should be happy, but they are not. Don't worry. Your mother and father will look after them. Where is your house? On the hill there. See it? Yes. And soldiers. Thank you, Shadia. You should go back to your mother now. It might get dangerous. I should be cautious around here. Did we find the ledger? Not yet. But it won't be long. The captain is up. Something blocking it on the other side. There must be another way in.
thoughts. Shadia wrote this. She has the ledger. And I sent her back to her mother. I have to find Henut before the soldiers get to her. Oh, Shadia. What have you done, little one? You cannot play games with the crocodile. Have you seen Hernut? Is she here? The soldiers just came and took her to the lighthouse. Young Shadja too. Hernut argued with them, but they would not listen. Something is wrong, isn't it? This has never happened before. Get word to Hotefres. Hurry! Damn all this! Henut and Shadia are at the lighthouse. I need to get there now! Neck! Neck! Prosperity for all, they say. Where is it? Where are the benefits? The peace of mind? It is all with the Greeks. It is not for Egyptians. The new laws are made by Greeks for Greeks. Shadia. Shadia.
It is over. The crocodile has won. The ledger lost. My daughter. My Shadia. He has taken everything from us. He will pay for this. And all those who serve him. None of that will bring Shadia back. No. But at least you'll have the comfort of revenge. We both will. I hope so. I will do anything I can to help you, brother. Has he not been able to tell you anything? Only that there were other men with the soldiers. Large, imposing warriors. One red-haired. Bandits? Soldiers? I believe they were gladiators from the arena in Crocodilopolis. It seems this... this monster uses fighters to do his bidding. I will find this monster, friend. He will die. <laughs>